I've been keeping a little secret from you guys. If you are unaware, I have another channel called Curious IT, or Curiosity, if you will, and I have been uploading videos about Active Directory, about server, and I'll be uploading more tutorial videos over there. So make sure you guys go check out that channel. There's a link in the description below. If I remember, I'll try to throw up one of those fancy cards or whatever that you guys can click on. I'll take you right to the channel. And that leads me to today's video, which I'm talking about resetting passwords in Active Directory. And the whole reason why we're bringing this up is because when you're getting into IT, you're gonna find that many times what you're going to be doing is resetting passwords. And it's kind of a running joke in this field, especially when it comes to entry-level IT work or just admin work in general. You're gonna find that you're often on the phone resetting somebody's password because they forgot their password for the 17th time today. Yes, it happens. Maybe not 17 times, but it does happen very frequently. So I thought I would show you guys how to reset a password in Active Directory. If you're unfamiliar with Active Directory, I'm gonna to try to give you a brief very simple explanation. Active Directory is a tool that helps you manage users and computers in a business organization. As long as you have a domain controller, you can then set up Active Directory to manage all the users and all the computers that you have in your environment. And what this means is, let's take for instance our phone. In our phone, we have contacts. We have our whole list of contacts in our phone. We can access them, we can send them messages, we can call them, and in those contacts, we can also put information like, you know, their full name, where they work, of course, their email address, and a few other different um, variables of information. In Active Directory, it's the same thing. You have contacts, which are your users. And with those users, you know, you're gonna have a username, you're gonna have email address, you may have a description that tells, you know, what job title they are. Uh, they have many other areas of information that you can fill out for users. But with an Active Directory, it lets you manage those users. So much like you can manage your users or your contacts in your phone, you can manage your users in Active Directory. You could create new users, you can disable users, delete users, reset users' passwords. Now I know this is kind of a weird uh, explanation using your phone, but I'm just trying to give you guys the, the most basic example of how you can um, relate Active Directory to something that you use on a day-to-day -day basis, which is your phone. So Active Directory just really lets you granularly control what your users are able to do. So you could set security groups on your users that allow them to access uh, different folders, different parts of your network. It's really a great way to set up a good structure, security, uh, management. It's just an ideal way to make sure that your company is structured correctly and that you're able to manage all of your users and computers. And then the same thing with your users can be done with computers. And of course, we will go into all of these details in videos on the Curious IT channel. But if you guys wanna see more of that stuff here, please let me know. If you'd rather just me upload all these type of videos to IT career questions, let me know. I want to hear this from you guys so that way I know if I'm wasting my time putting stuff on a new channel. But now that I've drugged this video on for as long as I have, which I apologize for, I wanna show you guys how to reset a password in Active Directory. This is gonna be a little bit of a longer video. I apologize for that. But I think it's really important that we give you guys as much detail as possible and really show you guys firsthand how this stuff can be done. So bear with me and let's get started. As you guys can see, we have our Active Directory users and computers pulled up. So make sure you guys do that. You could do that by going and clicking on server manager and going under tools and clicking on Active Directory users and computers. That's just a very quick way to do it. There's obviously many different ways that you can access Active Directory. You guys may have different tools in your environment that can make Active Directory very easy to access. And of course, with things like Azure or AWS, you may have your Active Directory sitting out there in the cloud somewhere, but still should be very easy to access. So what we're gonna do is say that we got a phone call from one of our users who forgot their password. So what we can do, and we're gonna do this maybe a few different ways here so you guys kind of understand, but the best way to do it is when a user calls in, you have Active Directory pulled up. And first of all, let's back up a little bit because when you first enter 
the building for the day, you get your computer fired up and you're logged in, one of the first things that you are going to be loading majority of the time is Active Directory because you will be getting a lot of phone calls for different user issues, password issues, um, group policy issues, or um, security group issues. So Active Directory is one of those things that you will have loaded up many times. Let's run you through a quick scenario. You're getting a phone call from an end user. Thank you for calling the IT department. This is Zach speaking. How can I help you? The user says, I forgot my password. Can't get in. All right, can I please get your name? So the user's name is Tim Nutbean. What we can actually do is right click over here on itcq.local and we could do a find. Now we know that this user's name is Tim Nutbean. So we could actually type in here, Tim, and it'll do a search for every user within Active Directory with the name of Tim. Of course, since we know their full name, we could search for Tim Nutbean. And you guys can see we have Tim Nutbean pulled up. With our user pulled up, we can actually highlight them, right click on it and do reset password. So we can create a generic password for him and do generic. And majority of the time when a user calls in because they've forgotten their password or it's, you know, their account's just not working, their account typically could be locked. So when we're setting a password, you could click on unlock the user's account. This makes sure that the user's account will be active once you reset the password. Most companies will have a policy put into place that once a user uh, inputs their password wrong five times that it automatically locks the account so they're, they can't access their account at all. Even if they do put in the right password, after that fifth time of putting in the wrong password, their account is locked so you can't access this. It's a great security feature. Anyway, what we do is set a generic password. User must change password at next logon and make sure unlock the user's account is checked. The password for Tim Nutbean has been changed. So you can hit okay. Now you give that user the generic password that you created and at that point they can then log into the system with that generic password. And because we checked these boxes here, we know that the account is going to be unlocked, so they should be able to access it. And we know that as soon as they log in with that generic password, Windows is actually going to force them to change their password again. Because we use that generic password, we don't want them to keep using that. We want them to make sure that they set a new password, one that they can hopefully remember, and they can continue to log onto the system and go about their day. Now, of course, with an Active Directory, if you know where that person resides, which OU that they are sitting in, you could actually go to that very specific OU. One of the things that we could do is, as we go and do a find, we look up Tim Nutby, we can right click on this user and do properties. Now what we can do is actually go under the object tab. This is going to show us exactly where this user resides in our Active Directory OU structure. We can see here that under itcq.local, under underscore production, second floor HR is where the Tim Nutbean account resides. So let's close out of all this and we can go under itcq.local, under production, and he's under the second floor and we can go under HR and there is our Tim Nutbean account. So the same thing applies, we can go to reset password and do the same exact thing. So these are a few different ways that you can reset a user's password within Active Directory. And again, this is something that you're going to be doing very, very often, especially as you're first starting out in IT. So it's really important that you actually understand this process and see where, of course, users reside in Active Directory, how you can access them or find these users so that you can get their passwords reset and they can go about their day. I hope you guys check out the Curious IT channel follow along to get to where we're at right now. But I thought it was really important that we put this video on the IT Career Questions channel because as I keep saying, this is going to be something that you guys need to know. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you guys learned something. Again, please let me know if you wanna see these types of videos on this channel, or if you'd rather go subscribe to Curious IT and find all of those types of videos over there. As always, I greatly appreciate you guys and your comments. And please, if you haven't yet, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. No, I'm just kidding, don't do that. I don't care, it's fine. I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, take it easy.